The last thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add images to your presentation because Animoto is very image based. You'll have an image, and then you have words, and then you'll have an image, then you'll have words. Um, we've got some places that we need to get images because when, if we copy and paste, like we search in Google and then we just copy and paste from anywhere, copying and pasting something that's not your own and you haven't been given permission to use it is called plagiarism. And we don't want to plagiarize pictures. So we're going to go to places where there are copyright right free images. Wikimedia Commons is a great place to do this. You'll see that link on my page and you can put in smoking and it will come up with a lot of different things. Um, notice that there are categories. So we want to uh, look at tobacco smoking. So there might be smoking signs that you could use. What you're going to do is you're going to make the image as large as you can make it. And then you'll right click or it pops up when you right click. Um, but you'll right click and you'll do save as. Oh, no, we don't want to do that way. Sorry. We don't want an SVG document because that means it's not going to save as an image and it won't be able to be uploaded into Animoto. Um, so when you just click on it and do save as here, that's not going to work for you. When you are here and I right click, notice that there's download original file. We may want to do that way or if we get these FG, FVG images, we don't want to use those at all. We can use a PNG image, so that should work. We're going to save it. And then that's what we'll upload then into Animoto. So that's a pretty simple process. But you will just keep working on getting more images. And you might use something instead of um, smoking, you might put tobacco. You might use other images or other words that you can think of that relate to smoking. There might be something with vaping. And there are some images there if you are using that as your focus. Um, so really just kind of think about what the different um, ideas or concepts or words might be. You could even just put in smoke and obviously smokestacks aren't going to work, but you might have um, an image that you could come up with that would be interesting to use. I do have several different um, sites that are available for this. I do want to show you this last one, which is Getty Images. Getty Images is a fabulous site, really, 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 really good. Um, but when you try and get to it, it's blocked here at school. It doesn't have, it says it's categorized as adult art. It's totally fine to use. Um, but you're going to need to access that from home if you want to get some really good pictures. Um, anytime we're using any of these images, um, what we're going to do is we're going to cite this at the end simply by saying images from Wikimedia Commons, images from Photos for Class, images from free images, and that will keep it so that we're copyright compliant because everything that you are putting um, in Animoto is online for other people to see. We do have to make sure that we follow all copyright guidelines. Um, but you don't have to do each individual website for each individual image. What we are not going to do is we are not going to use Google. And I'll show you why here. Because Google, if we did one for tobacco and looked at our images, We've got some really cool pictures. The problem is, is that when you go to each one of these images, you're going to have to go to view image, and then you're going to have to cite each and every picture. Now you can do that in the captions of your images, so that can be done, but I need to show you something else really important if you're going to do that. When you're using Google, and we're looking at images, we need to go into the search tools section, and we need to look at usage rights. And we want the one that says labeled for non-commercial reuse down at the bottom. Once you do that, those are the images that you are allowed to use for um, without checking with the person who posted them. Um, they've said that these are okay to use for schools and such. So you do have to follow that and then you're going to have to view the image on each one and you're going to have to copy the web address for each and every one of these. So just be aware that that's something that you'll have to do if you are going to use Google um, in that way. It's a lot easier to use the images in the other places though, I will tell you that. And that's how we use our images and where we get our images for this project. Can't wait to see your, your videos that you create.